Welcome to Minecraft 1.9. The snapshot is here and the update for Minecraft 1.9 is very close to being released. This is a really cool update because it apparently adds a lot of improvements to melee combat and I couldn't wait for that to happen. But also there's been a few other changes that I'm going to go through with you now. Right, so first up are the changes to combat. Now I have over here some swords, a shield, a bow and some of the new arrows from this update. And I'm going to show you how these work. So first up, the big change is dual wielding. That's right. So you can put a sword in your main hand and a golden sword, let's say, in your off hand. And kablamo. Now you can't shoot. You can't use both swords at once. You can only use your main hand item. Really, what dual wielding is for is for carrying things like potions and shields in your off hand to protect you with. So, for example, if I replace the gold sword with a shield, I can hold right click to block with my shield and then attack with my sword on the left click. Also, if I put my bow here, I can have arrows in my offhand and that will prioritize the arrows that I've got in my offhand for the bow. So it will always use these arrows of slowness before anything else. And I can right click and charge up the same way I would before. Blam! You can also press F to switch between your main hand and your off hand. And this is pretty cool because you can have like a fiery sword and then a sword with knockback. So you can blam, 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 give him some fire damage and then change that and blam and knock him away. So you've set your enemy on fire and then you've thrown him into the distance. But that's not the only thing. You can also put a potion into your off hand and what you can do is you can't, now you can't right click anymore to block with the sword, but what you can do is right click to use whatever's in your off hand. So let's say you're in combat and you've got a sword and a potion, it's usually a real pain to switch to the potion. But what you can do now is left click with your sword to do some damage and hold right click to glug the potion and get your health back. And that's a pretty cool change. That's going to be super handy in combat. Those are the big changes to combat. Now there's a few other cool things that you can do. Let's just get this potion out of my off hand. What you can do now as well is you can right click on grass to change grass into paths. And this is just a really cool thing to make your area around your house look amazing. It's from Pocket Edition, but now it's in the desktop version as well. One more thing you can do is you can add the Frostwalker enchant to your boots. Costs four, apparently. But bam, there we go. Now this is Frostwalker 2. And what I'll do is I'll put this on and you can see what this does when you try and walk over water. But if we're going to the water, I'm going to take some boats as well. Now, whenever you go near water, you turn it into ice. And this is a new block to 1.9. It's frosted ice, slightly different to normal ice. And check this out. Oh, yeah. So now I can just whoops. Now, it doesn't work if you jump into the water, apparently. But if you stay on the ice and you run, it'll keep up with you. Oh, you can't jump because you'll jump into the water. But it'll keep up with you and paint ice all over the lake. But it's a great way to just cross over oceans very quickly. And as you can see, the ice thaws behind you as you move. So it's not permanent. Let's take these boats off because we want to try now the new and improved boats. Now, you might have tried boats before in Minecraft. And let's face it, they're horrible. But they've had some big changes. Look at these oars for one. And oh yeah, they're much more mobile now. You can spin around. They feel like they've got the same kind of speed, but the accelerations, oh, it's, it's really up there. Oh, I just feel a lot more mobile. Now, it's, it's a bit, there's a bit of drag. I do feel like uh, the boat's slipping and sliding a bit, just like a normal boat would. But this is a much, much more improved version of boats. Let's see what happens when we plow into the ground as well. Does it wreck the boat? No, apparently not. And that was full speed. So what else is new? Well, beetroots. Again, these are something that's in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So on your mobile phones or maybe your iPad, you could already find these, but they're new to Minecraft. And let's see, you can get a beetroot, which is one way to make red dye, rose red, or you can put it into a bowl to make beetroot soup. And it tastes delicious. But the big changes to 1.9 have really been orientated around the end. And I'll show you what we mean. We've got some new blocks here. We've got purple -pur blocks and purple -pur pillars. We've got end crystals, chorus fruit and popped chorus fruit. And I'll show you what that is. But also a new monster as well, the shulker and end rods. Now end rods are kind of like candles, but you can stand on them as well. So I'll show you these. You can put them on walls sideways or you can put them down like that and you can jump on them as well. And they produce light and they're found a lot in the end. And these are the blocks. These are the purple -pur blocks. This is a normal block. 
This is a slab. This is a purple pillar. And these are purple stairs. How do you make purple blocks? Well, what you do is you smelt up some of the chorus fruit, and we'll leave that to smelt into popped chorus fruit. There we go. Another thing you can do with chorus fruit, it's really cool, what you can do is you can eat it, and it has a chance to randomly teleport you somewhere nearby, much the same way an Enderman might teleport. See, there we go, it wasn't very far. Bam, oh, that was a bit further. Oh, there we go. So this is a great way for you to uh, just teleport around. If you're trapped inside somewhere, if someone's put you inside a jail cell, this will teleport you out of it if you're lucky. Also, if you're falling out of the sky, and I'll show you this, it's a good way for you to avoid falling damage because you can eat it while you're falling and it'll teleport you all the way to the ground. But it doesn't always work. Sometimes it can kill you. So fingers crossed. Oh, <laughs> okay, it didn't work then but apparently it works sometimes. Let's go and grab our stuff. So, right, what else is new? Well, there's been a few changes to potions. And let's take a look at what's new with those. We're gonna use some splash potions here, and I'm gonna show you a new item to the end called Dragon's Breath. You get Dragon's Breath by using an empty bottle near Dragon Flame, or end a Dragon Breath attack. And what it does is it fills up a bottle with Dragon's Breath. And this is a really cool thing to do. Oh, also, brewing needs blaze powder, but that's okay. What you can do is you can take a splash potion, let's say a splash potion of jump boost or a splash potion of slowness, add some dragon's breath to it. We'll do the same with this splash potion of le leaping as well. And what this does is it makes them lingering potions. And that means the area that you splash these on linger. So the, the slowness debuff stays in an area for an amount of time. You see lingering potion of slowness. So let's try these out. So I can throw this on the ground and for one minute, this area is affected by that status effect, which is slowness. So you can create a slowness area, shoot it with an arrow. You can apply these effects to the arrows as well, and you can create an area that slows people when they go through it. And potion of leaping, there we go. Oh, it's a pretty cool looking effect as well. Boing. And now we've got this popped chorus fruit. I can show you that when you drag a square of four, you can make the purple -pur blocks. And these are kind of like purple stone bricks. They look kind of ugly in the vanilla texture pack, but I reckon if you've got your own texture pack, they're gonna look really cool. Right, that's pretty much almost it. There's two more things to show you. Well, three really. First one is the Elytra. Now the Elytra is vanilla Minecraft's version of a hand glider. You can find Elytra in the end. There's a chest on every single end ship that has an elytra in it. And elytra looks like a cape, if you take a look here. Looks really cool, actually. Now you do it by pressing space when you're in midair, like this, and you have a degree of control. So you can fly down and up, but if you're at level head, you can travel pretty far in one direction. Oh, nice, and I don't mean the band. And now the last thing I wanna show you before we go to the end is the new monster that's found in the end. Now this is it right here. It's called a shulker and it's a pretty rude mother trucker. It hides as these kind of purple blocks, so you might not notice it at first, and every now and again it opens up its shell to look for people. Now we're in creative mode, but if we go into survival, it's gonna start to see us in a second, and as soon as it does, it's gonna open up its shell and start shooting heat-seeking missiles at us. Oh, here, they, here it comes. And these are really cool. Look at them. Now I hope they don't do too much damage, actually. Oh, looks like they explode after a while. How much damage do they do? This one's running away. Where's it going? Boom! Oh, and it's making me float. That's pretty cool. It's giving me levitation. Oh, nice. Wait, no, no, that's bad. Wait, I'm going up. I've got to come down. Uh-oh. Oh, now that could kill you. And they're really cool. Let's try and kill it with the bow. There we go. Bam. Oh, it looks like we can shoot its projectiles out of the air as well. And there we go. Shulker down. Right, and that's everything that I've got to show you, except the end. Now, the end has had some major changes, so let's jump through and see what that is. I've built a makeshift ender portal here, so let's see what's new in the 1.9 version of the end. So now, there should be an infinite amount of these ender islands spawning, and there's supposed to be things like ender cities here as well. So these are the ender crystals, and the ender dragon should be somewhere around here. Let's try and use a potion of night vision so we can make it easier to see in here. So that is the main Ender Island. There's supposed to be other Ender Islands that spawn, though. I'm not sure if we have to kill the dragon first. 
Well, let's try and do the let's try and do some damage to him. Boom, and there he goes. Now a load of new sounds have been added to Minecraft. So you might have heard some strange new weird sounds. Whoa, there we go. So now we can either jump th Oh, look at all this XP. I'm in creative mode, but never mind. So once you've defeated the Ender Dragon, you can either choose to end the game or you can try and go through one of these portals. Now these appear when you kill the Ender Dragon, just like this one did. And if you throw an Ender Pearl through it, it will take you to another world. This is the new end. Ah, oh, look at it. Already there's some crazy cool stuff out here. So what is this stuff? Oh my god, whoa! Ah, now this is the chorus fruit, and this is how it grows. So what else is around here? There's apparently new structures generated as well. End cities. Let's go and see if we can find one of those. Aha, here we go, we've got one now. Check this thing out. Oh man, it looks like some kind of really modern Los Angeles holiday retreat. Doesn't it look, oh, look at that ugly purple there. It's so, ugh. But it's got these end rods around, and this is a shulker waiting to ambush somebody. So that's a small end tower. Let's go and see if we can find a big one now. Or perhaps an end ship. Aha, there we go. That looks like a ship. Oh, and that looks like a nice big tower as well. Let's check that out too. So apparently inside these ships, and it looks like a kind of like a, like a galleon, like an old fashioned sea ship, but made out of purple block. And there should be an item frame in here with elytra. There it is. Oh, and it's guarded by a shulker. And that's where you get your glider from. But also, oh, look at some of this. There's some bountiful loot in here. Efficiency and unbreaking. Diamond sword with knockback and smite four. Oh, that's pretty sweet. One of the other changes is that loot has been changed. There's been some rebalances to what monsters and what, uh, what chests drop certain stuff. Also, apparently, skeletons have harder AI, so they're a more difficult challenge. Ah, yeah, now this is definitely one of the types of towers that can spawn. And let's take a look at some of the loots in here. Ah, oh, again, some pretty high-end armor. And a pretty cool pickaxe, too. Well, guys, this has been a look at the 1.9 pre-release. The new update should come in the coming days, so check that out when it does. I can't wait for my favorite minigame server to update to it so that I can get involved and, uh, and start using the new combat mechanics that are really going to be a game changer for things like survival games and, uh, and all the minigames that I love to play. Hit like and favorite if you want to see more, but until next time, guys, take care.